Game three underway is the serve set by Dutra. The ground with the slam. Shot it up goes too deep. Side out to Brazil. Rodeo Hook conveying tactics to his teammate alongside of him. And there's the quickness of the Soviet Union completely catching the Brazilians by surprise. In fact, I don't think any of those Brazilians even had time really to get off the floor. One of them did, but the other two blockers were completely caught unawares. Back with the Russians. What's the call? Aruda. It's in. Side out to Brazil. Well, there's Aruda. He, he must get at least a meter off the ground with that vertical jump of his. Victor Yuri Sheridni serving for the Soviet Union. They win the side out. Block at the net by the Russians, but it goes out. Out of court. The match tied at zero in the third. Rolt serves one up, one of those spinning, dropping serves, which are often difficult to receive. But four hits caught against the Russians there, and so the first point of the third set goes to Brazil. Now that could make a big difference because psychologically they have been destroyed in the opening rallies of each of the first two games allowing the russians to jump out to sizable and early leads but here they've won the first point and that's as we said psychologically an important sort of for any team to achieve particularly when you're down by two games to nil so the crowd picks up the second point for Brazil. interesting statistics that has emerged from the four matches today that every team that has scored first in every set has gone on to win the game now there was a net violation called against Brazil there but the referee has reversed the call and the point goes to Brazil 3-0 and it's back at four to nothing that's really the first time we've seen a, a bad defensive error by the Russian backcourt players. Hey. Braulio Volting serving for Brazil, who scored more points in the first couple of minutes of this uh, third game than they did in the entire second. And they only managed three from the entire match. So relief the Russian camp as they win it back at last as the block goes out. And playing and setting it up for Aruda. He's the key attacker in this Brazilian side. And if they can get enough good ball to him, he could be the key man in this Brazilian comeback. The Russians have effectively blocked him out of the game so far. But it's a slightly different ball game now with the Brazilians. Attacked it and the Russians finding themselves having to do far more defensive work than they did in, any of the, in either of those first two games. The Brazilians really on top of their game for the first time in this match. Negrar getting the better of shutting off. I think that one was out. That should have been the fifth point, I think, for Brazil, but it was called the other way. The Russians get a break, and they get a point. Was it a net violation? Yeah. Call for a lifted ball, I think. Sheridan Nick. Well, lifted ball counted against Sheridan Nick. The serve from Brazil from Douglas Giarotti. It's too deep. 
Oleg Shatanov. The Russians still looking for their first point in this third game. Easy winners of the first two. And there it is. It comes at last. They're on the board. It comes from the block. That one clearly in and good. Negrau again finding the floor. the block it's 5-1 off the block and off the Russian out of court 5-1 but in one sense we are seeing a repeat of the pattern that emerged in the first two games with one side jumping out to a large lead in the early stages of the set Serbians down by one to five. Yeah, yeah. There. It's a bit of play there from the Russians. Measured and calm, putting it away with the block. Two to five. Then comes over to the left hand side. Aruda. Plenty of power on that smash. He's blocked. Not in bounds. Now the Soviet Union look as if they're setting up a couple of substitutions. We'll have those for you in a moment. Shachin coming up from behind. Number 11, Yaroslav Antonov is coming on. Is he coming off? In fact, he's coming off then. Krasilnikov is coming on. This is Evgeny Krasilnikov, a 25-year-old from Moscow, who's uh, principally a center. So he's wise to that throw there by the Brazilians. And Shapanov's smash goes out of bounds. It's back to Brazil. They're up 5-2. to two. Shapanov, most unhappy with that performance. High and deep does the big Brazilian. Nice play there by Alexander Shachin. Fast and powerful from Shachin. And side out to the USSR. Aruda. Shut it up. Up over the block. And also gets the point. There it is. That's what it looks like from net camp. The Brazilians far more competitive in this uh, third set after being whitewashed by the Russians in the first two sets, 15 to 6, 15 to 3. But they have been considerably more competitive in this third set. At one stage led by 5 to 1, but the Soviet Union have uh, quietly and methodically chipped away at that lead. They're back to 5 4, but they had no reply to that uh, powerful smash from Magno. This is Douglas Chiarotti with the serve. And it goes shutting off again and smashes his way through the Brazilian block. Sheer raw power there that produced the winning rally for the Soviet Union. The Brazilians let it go. And what's the call? Serve is ace. The Brazilians undone there by their enthusiasm. So the Soviet Union have got back to five all. And that's out at 6-5. A desperate dig from Chiarotti. There's the great spectacle of volleyball. The huge frame diving across the floor in a desperate attempt to keep the ball alive. But that time Chiarotti was unable to do so. Do so. Some confusion in the Russian defense on the front line. And in the end, Foleman just threw his arm out after he realized that the ball had been lost. hear all the communication. Mm -hmm. 
some time after the USSR. So six to five, this has been a very fine comeback by the Russians, down five to one. They didn't panic. This time the block is out. Sullivan's so one side out, and Marcelo Negrao to serve. Very fast, powerful jump serve. Service error. They're very hard to affect those serves at that sort of speed. And Cherednik for the USSR. A quieter, softer, but nonetheless just as a difficult serve to receive. Aruda on the tip. Gets the point. Aruda side out. So Julio Bock to serve as the side trailing for the first time in the match at five to six. The first time in this game at five to six. Set up nicely there by the Russians. For number four, Ruslan Olakbeer. It's the winner away. It's side out to the USSR at six to five. Pick up there off the net by Shartanov. He goes cross court, the Russian. And it's good. 7 5. Must have come off a Brazilian hand as it went out of bounds. Brushed a Brazilian hand at the net. Substitution here for Brazil. Gilson Fernando comes on. Fernando, who started the match for Brazil. We didn't see him in the second game at all, but he's back here. A serve from the Russians. Confusion there amongst the Brazilians. 8-5. Make that 9-5, and the Russians may well be breaking the spirit of the Brazilians here. This sudden rush of points from being down, remember, 5-1. They've won the last eight points in a row. And it will be very difficult, I think, for the Brazilians to do much about this now. The Russians again in control, and we have seen them that once they take control of the match, they offer very little towards the opposition by way of a comeback. Ruslan Olakbeer, who's turned on a brilliant display of serving in this match. Jutra said, set up. Uh, violation by one of those back row attackers. In fact, I think he crossed the line before it went over the net. The point goes to the USSR. 12 to 5, and Oleg Bear now serving for a seventh consecutive point. This has been an extraordinary A serve. Oleg Bear really had to play that one. That may have dropped in that serve. It did have some topspin on it. Sheen going for the tip. Nicely disguised. Takes back the side out for the USSR. Twelve to six. Nice reaction there by the Russians after being a little difficulty. The block that's out, and they can't get to that one. Back with service goes to the Brazilians at six to twelve. Shrednik tried, but to no avail. Shrednik sets it up. For me, puts it down hard. Brazil with the dig. Negra goes out of bounds. That cross board slammer. So the Soviet Union, three points away from winning this match against the South American champion Brazil. Shut it up, sends it right back home for another point. It's 13 to 6. Brazilian coach continues to ring the changes. You are allowed to make up to six subs per game. It's blocked back by Shot It Up, and it's good. So here it is. We've come to match point at 40 to 6 to the Soviet Union. 
Jodzine serves it up, and that's it. A disappointing way for the match to end for the Brazilians. They look completely disillusioned towards the end of this match after a breathtaking comeback by the Russians, and that really must have sent a very clear message to the Americans and the Cubans that the Russians are really serious about winning the gold medal. They were put to the sword by the Brazilians at the start of this third set when the South Americans jumped down to that 5-1 lead, but then the Russians really turned it on, a powerful display, and from 1-5 down, they went out to win 15-6, clean sweep the Brazilians, 15-6, 15-3, 15-6. I'm all right. Out to win 15 to 6, clean sweep the Brazilians, 15 6, 15.